It's a cold one today. I do love the fall, but I hate the winter. <laughs> it's actually not that as bad as it used to be though, now that I'm in this nice, nice renovated house that has perfect central air and perfect heating. So, Today I want to show you guys how I make beat drops or how to make your beat drop more epic. What I mean by that is the part of your song usually at the beginning, basically when the 808 and the kick hits and all the drums hit at the same time. I'm going to show you little things that I do or have done in the past to make my beat drop epic. So I made this melody right here. Simple melody. I just was just messing around with, with the headphones in, with my new headphones that I'm testing out. I got these headphones so that when I'm recording vocals, you can't hear the sound coming from the headphones and then it goes into the mic. Yo, it's crazy. New headphones are crazy. Like those are way more expensive than my other ones. Uh, but it's just, I'm just used to the other ones. So those ones just sound bad, even though they're technically better, I guess. I might try to throw this in Fruity Slicer. Just a guitar, I don't have any uh, effects on it or anything. I haven't used Fruity Slicer in a while, so maybe I'll throw it in Fruity Slicer really quickly. Really, really quickly. Oh no, that's the pitch. When you're pitching, make sure you do it by exactly one or two semitones. So you have the 200, 100 cents. I'm gonna do... All right, so basically I, I kind of just, I guess I just chopped it up and pitched it down. Uh, didn't really need to do slicer, but it kind of gives it like a cool little like um, effect where it doesn't sound so, I just want just like so just like Omnisphere. Gives it a little bit more uh, something to it. like a piano over this or something.
808 here just to kind of get a just to kind of get some fire going So I want to make sure that the, the 808 really sounds good and sounds great and sounds right and it's perfect uh, just because that's where a lot of the drop is going to, the drop is going to come in with the 808 and the drums. So I just want to make sure I get it right. There's a Dino 808 from the Flex Kit, um, probably use a G's kick with it. When I lay out my patterns, I usually do it in a crazy way where I separate it just into, I just clone the patterns and I do some crazy stuff. I know most people don't do that. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna split them all into a channel. Oh, I'm gonna hate it, but it's okay. I just want people to understand what I'm doing here. So here's our three melodies. One of them's a bass. I'm gonna bring in all the drums here. Uh, basically how I'm gonna let this one drop is I'm gonna play the melodies and then it's gonna, the beat is gonna drop right here. So once it drops, I have this bass here, I'll probably cut it out halfway through just to kind of leave it without, just so when we hear a, a low, lower bass sound again, it's coming in when the beat drops. So I'm gonna take out the bass and bring the 808, which is the Dino 808 right there. Let me solo LDs back again. So let's hear how it sounds. So that works, right? Like a lot of trap beats here today, if you had someone doing vocals on it or if you were trying to sell the beat, it would work. There's a lot of beats that don't have crazy transitions, but it still works just because of the song. But if you wanted to spice this up and make it more appealing to, to the ear, maybe someone was just listening to it, you want a crazy drop. The first thing that I'm hearing is maybe adding some gross beat. So when it drops, it goes half speed when it drops. That'd be kind of a cool thing. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go to gross speed preset momentary half speed and then from there i'm going to right click on this create automation clip for the gross beat so then this is 100 percent at the bottom zero a lot of you guys probably know that so basically i can do this i can right click so that once it hits this ninth bar here it's going to go half speed i'm gonna pitch this all up uh two semitones actually it's a little too muddy for me. So I'm gonna go two semitones on everything. Just shift and up. So we got the gross speed, half speed. We got the 808 the way I want it. Uh, I switched to the Lays 808. So it sounds good. Really dark, really dark type of style. I'm actually gonna add a little poppy or something little effect from the orbital just to like give us some more sounds pretty good basically you got the two melodies no drums no nothing playing another thing i see people messing up at when they're trying to do the drops they try to add another melody here They'll try to bring in a third melody at this point when the beat drops, but it throws it off too much. You need to have the same feel to it, but the, it's like a weird combination. One thing I do is sometimes you can add a gross beat, sometimes you can add little cool effects here. Another thing I do is kind of let some things hang a little bit. You can also add little uh, transition sweeps. And I'm gonna add another little percussion sweep here as well. Maybe we can add a little crash or something as well. Depends on the type of transition you're trying to add, I guess. So I'm gonna add a little crash as well and kind of drag it out. So 
that, those are some things that I want to I do when I have like I want to have a hard drop, and then you'll have your tag around this area as well. And if if you wanted to get a little crazy, you could even do something like this, where it comes in at the first clap, maybe. Where's the clap at? Or like the second clap. <laughs> Depends where the 808 is though, you kind of build it around the 808. Hmm. So yeah, those are some things that I like to do kind of just when I'm trying to make a hard beat. Find it easier when you kind of just let, let the 808 breathe and just kind of keep it simple with the 808 and just let it hit. It's all about learning tons of different tactics, learning tons of different skills. When the time comes, you're either like, oh, let's throw a transition in here. Let's let the beat hang a little bit. Let's let it hang off so it kind of has the anticipation. Let's let it drop four bars in. Let's let it drop two bars in. Let's let it drop right on the bar. We don't need transitions, but it's all about learning all the different types of things you can do so that when you're listening to it you know what it needs and then you can go add that thing all the sounds i use here from were from orbital if you guys are wondering let's listen to what this beat sounds like in your headphones instead of coming from my beautiful speakers um let's listen to what it sounds like right now Thank you guys for watching this video. That is the end of the video. Now I'm gonna open my curtains again to let in the normal lighting. New music on the way, music video, song, amazing. So uh, I got a couple cool podcasts coming. I'm, about, I'm gonna try to film one right now actually. And yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next one, I will see you guys later. My life's been me stuck inside the studio. Inside, don't hate it. Maybe I should get right. Maybe you should turn left. Maybe you should decide. Any tide, pause. Instead of getting rocked, the clubs of people you don't like and don't even know. Turning up, walking around, staring at them. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I drive a 2010 Toyota Corolla. When I get older, maybe I'll get something a little doper. Made six figures in sweatpants. Do my dance. Before this, I never got the chance.